I'm making this video about the current uh, astrology situation. Right now we have, um, in particular, Venus is um, experiencing a lot of uh, stress, you might say. And of course, Venus has a lot to do with our relations with other people. You'll hear in the background some loud noises. The uh, blue angels are flying overhead here in San Francisco. But um, right now we have Venus. Um, it's joined the sun, so it's very closely joined the sun, which is which makes it combust. Combustion shows a um, deep sensitivity especially when Venus is combust, we have a deep sensitivity to how much we're uh, respected and appreciated or how much we're not respected or appreciated. This whole um, issue of respect and appreciation creates a deep sensitivity. And a lot of it refers to... Well, you heard it. So that one flew right overhead. Wasn't really respecting or appreciating what I was saying, right? So anyway, it um, when we're younger, we feel respected or appreciated based on showing affection and how well it's returned. So often if someone has a combust Venus in their natal chart, they didn't feel respected or appreciated when they expressed love or something like that and so they carry around this sort of idea this this wound a little bit that what they have isn't valuable or isn't valued and we can feel that kind of sensitivity when Venus becomes combust in the sky whether we have it in our natal chart or not that can be happening I know everybody's going to be complaining about this video the airplanes just started flying so anyway um, so we might be having a lot of issues around feeling respected and appreciated or not right now because of this uh, combust Venus now it's also in its sign of debilitation which is Virgo and when Venus is in Virgo we feel a lot of criticism with those things that we are trying to find happiness from, which often includes other people. So we find, you know, we can find a lot of fault with people and what they're, you know, what they're not doing to make us happy, that sort of thing. Um, and this allows us to see beyond just the surface of our relationships and see, you know, to our own habits and how we can be sort of nitpicky about things, it's a good time to really um, reflect on our expectations that we have of others and take responsibility for finding our own peace and happiness. I meant to say that the real power of the combust planet, even though it creates this sort of sensitivity and this sort of flashpoint, it's to purify that energy. Everything has a you know, has a positive um, result. You know, nothing is just, you know, negative. Um, the problem with the, with the combust planet is it doesn't feel so good, which again, this is what we always wind up falling back on because everything is about how we feel about something. The things that feel good, we think are good, and the things that feel bad, we think are bad. On the surface, the, the combust planet creates this sensitivity, but it's to purify the energy, which means, again, most of our problems come because we're looking for some outer situation to satisfy an inner need. And Combust Venus purifies that whole sort of process of how much we feel valued, therefore how much we value others. Because one of the things that happens when Venus is combust, or when a planet is combust, is we act out with a little bit of anger and frustration. It's actually part of the, it's one of the diptati of ashtas, and it's, it's called kopa, or angry and frustrated, when it's combust. So it gives this anger and frustration because of not feeling respected or appreciated. 
And then what happens, of course, is we wind up disrespecting others because we weren't respected, so now I'm going to disrespect you. And seeing that whole process is important right now. And it's to purify the energy. Many times, if a planet is combust in your natal chart, it winds up being a source of embarrassment for you. Again, you can imagine it joined the sun, and it's like, a, it's like a sunburn, like a sort of cosmic sunburn. With Venus, it's around feeling respected and appreciated, so sometimes a person does things to disrespect themselves, hoping that it's going to bring appreciation, and then when it doesn't, they lash out with a lot of sensitivity. It's a pretty deep thing, but you want to notice the sensitivity to feeling appreciated and maybe doing things, making extra attempts to feel validated, appreciated, and loved right now with a very sensitive um, feeling if it's not returned. Like for instance, you might be trying extra hard to have people like you, and then if they don't, you're extra sensitive to the response. This is the way the combustion of Venus can feel. So combust Venus, Venus in a sign of debilitation, and Venus is also close to Rahu right now. We're going to be experiencing this for the next week or so, by the way. Venus very close to Rahu, the north node. Of course, Rahu it tends to exaggerate things and tends to distort them and make them, you know, bring a lot of imagined fear and stress and worry into the equation as well. So that's also there around these same issues. And we're close to the eclipse, so, you know, that whole that whole issue of respect and exaggeration and the things I was just talking about, especially as it relates to your relationships and relationship partners and all that, could be pretty um, prevalent right now, um, especially with this, with the conjunction of Venus with Rahu. Now, Venus is also in an exchange with Mercury, its ruler, and this is a retrograde Mercury. So when planets exchange, they're kind of like, sort of like Siamese twins on some level. It tends to hold the, the ideas together toward the results that you want, but it's through this kind of dialogue that's going on. So right now there's this sort of constant dialogue between Mercury and Venus stuff, and Mercury's retrograde. So again, there's like confusion around these things that I'm, that I'm uh, discussing. I'm sure to some extent these things feel like they're up for you right now, but you know, how to make sense of it is kind of elusive right now, and making sense of things is Mercury. That's what Mercury is. Usually Mercury and Venus, well, all the time, Mercury and Venus are friendly with each other because Mercury is what allows us to understand all of these, you know, especially human interactions. Venus is very much about human interactions, and Mercury is very much about trying to understand what things mean. And of course, we have to bring a lot of that comprehension into human interactions. So Mercury and Venus have a lot in common in this way. But now with Mercury retrograde, it's um, sort of confusing. However, again, both of these planets are exchanging from signs they rule. So it's, it's, it's a very powerful sambanda here. Um, sambanda means a sort of joining. Usually when, Merc usually when Venus is, uh, is uh, debilitated, there's this what's called Nietzsche Banga going on, which it's usually either with Mercury, the ruler, or exchanging with Mercury, which is what, we're happen which is, what is happening now. So the debilitation of Venus is much less, um, you know, detrimental, and it's usually this way. Again, because usually when Venus is debilitated, it's either usually with Mercury or exchanging with Mercury, the ruler, and that's the case now as well. But again, it's a retrograde Mercury, and it's backing up toward it, so there's a lot more going on with this. So this is kind of what's up right now. This is why there's um, a lot of relationship back and forth and going back and recalibrating and feeling respected, not respected. How much will we do to get appreciated? How much do we sell ourselves short? These are a lot of things that are up, and we'll be feeling that this week, this week of October 12th. So. I hope you're doing well. Thanks a lot.